nothing in the shootout. Dylan Weber on the draw for Danbury. Martin Delugalinski for El for rather for New England, and we're underway. New England in their road black uniforms with the Kelly green and yellow trim. They'll go from left to right on your screens at home. No icing on this play as it's stopped by Alex Fernandez behind his own cage. Fernandez getting the spot start in favor of Shane O'Brien, who is out with an illness. The team hopes to have O'Brien back in goal for tomorrow. In the neutral zone, it'll be sent back down by Nate Mastroni. Behind his own net, it's Patrick Gribben. Pass in front, no nope. loft one into the far corner. Danbury once again in the middle of a change, and so it'll be Cody Porcello. A long pass intended up ahead for uh, Levi Kervinen. Kervinen unable to get control of the puck. Now it's Misha Mishar going far side for Nate Mastroni. Mastroni one on one in the zone. That's punched aside by Gribben off the stick of Willis. And now Porcello. His pass off the skates of a teammate picked up by Dylan Weber. Weber from his knees is able to get it towards the blue line. Now Mastroni turns it over. Top of the circle. New England trying to get something going. Now they have to do it on their next offensive opportunity as it's cleared out into the neutral zone. Exactly the start of this game. Both teams are going one end to the other. Really, really a lot of open space. The game is a lot longer in terms of where players are starting and stopping. And that's why you see a lot of stretch passes so far. Danbury would. Danbury did look for a couple of two-line plays, but... Other than that, it was a much more physical game. I think that we're going to see a lot more puck movement and a lot more skill-based in, in this series. And, and Danbury, the benefit of Danbury is they can play both styles of games. And they, as you can see, a little physical play there. But they can play both styles. They can play the skilled game. They can play the physical game. And they will, they'll match you with, with their intensity. And you mentioned the skill game. How about Nolan Murphy for the New England Knights? 31 goals, 30 assists. In 37 games played, his 61 points is the most of both teams tonight. Yeah, you always watch him out and then make the big body save. Very impressive in the early moments in this first period. Body saves the right way to put it. That was pure desperation. He lost his stick on the play as well. But it is impressive, too, to see how confident he was in making that save. Sometimes you see when goaltenders lose their stick, they almost get kind of fidgety and, and jerky. And he did not look like he was phased by that at all. Really nice job in the paint. And I will tell you this, Zach, both goaltenders coming into the game, not necessarily the greatest statistics that jump out to you. This is big, confident game for both of them. The first game here in this weekend. Another save by Gribben. Puck still in the zone as that shot gets launched wide off the stick of Dylan Weber. Weber once again holds it at the blue line. Good job. That goes off the helmet of Andrew Palmeter. That doesn't feel good. Palmeter, none worse to wear, will flip it up the boards. He finds uh, Kervinen. Kervinen up ahead for Delug Delugalinski. Delugalinski caught from behind by Lefkoff. It's turned over. Yeah, just took too much time with the puck. You have to make a decision a little bit quicker there. Lefkoff was able to catch up with him. Here's Nate Mastroni by himself. His shot gets the play. Finally, they get some victories. There's a little bit more smiles, some pep in their step walking through the arena, the arena this past week. And... They have to say, hey, we, we remember how good it is to win. A rising shot off the stick of Levi Kiervanen goes over the top of the net. Now Kiervanen with it again. Tries a Michigan move. That's no, not going to work out for him. <laughs> Kept alive at the blue line by Pimentel. Behind the net. Pair of players doing battle in the corner. It's Delugalinski losing possession of the puck. And Kevin Remsen from the red line will dump it down deep. Weird bounce off the Zamboni corner. Keeps the puck in the near side corner. Knights in their own zone. That's a tough forward line to, to match up against, too, with Westendorf and Mastroni. They're not going to score a ton of goals, but they're physical, and they love to forecheck. So getting it out might be a very difficult task against that third line. And Dylan Weber, the centerman on that line, we've seen him finish already so far this season. Absolutely. He's so physical, and, and his press. 40 seconds gone by on the power play. Well, that's what you like to see, Zach, is a strong power penalty kill for the Colonials, and the perimeter shots keep coming in for the Knights, but that's really all we've seen from them, nothing in between the circles. Here's Lapworth, a backhand shot. Might have gone off the side of the net. Might and, and fresh legs to hopefully fight off the rest of this penalty kill. Again, couple of chances for the Knights, but haven't seen anything make or break. 
Dylan Weber will chase after this loose puck. Kiervanen gets there first. Knights regrouping in their own zone. Now over center, red and back into Danbury's zone. Here is Franklin Berry. Barry turns the puck over. Porcello was able to sniff that out. But then in support is Brandon Cope. He's able to knock it out of midair and get it as far as the red line. Here come the Knights once again. This is Thomas Hayden. Thomas Hayden in the corner. Canceled out by Madsey. Thomas Hayden still going for the puck. Throwing a body is Porcello. Porcello chips it back up to the point and it's kept alive by Nolan Murphy. Murphy's shot saved by Fernandez. The rebound was loose there too, Zach, but good job by the Colonials to get that clearance. Very, very important so far. We've seen a couple of those low shots again. Three minutes exactly left on the clock. And so Danbury's number two power play in the league, they convert on 41.9% of their opportunities. That is fantastic. They'll have to begin from the neutral zone though as good work by Max Burham will send it all of that all the way down. McEnany will pick up the puck from Fernandez. Up ahead, battling through is Lefkoff. Lefkoff goes far side for Brandon Cope. Cope stops, looks for an option. Didn't see anything that he liked, so he swung it around behind the cage. Donovan is there, gives to Weber. Now Dylan Weber. A little in front of Cope. Cope will again send it behind the cage. Donovan again will pick it up. This time he's met by Pimentel. Donovan for Cope. Cope a shot, saved by Gribben. The rebound into the slot. McEnany goes back up at the point. Left off a shot, never made its way through. Left off again at the blue line, keeps it alive. Cope has an option and McEnany gives to him. Snapshot on goal, save. The rebound Donovan sends high and wide. Well, a couple good rebound chances there for Danbury. They still have possession of the puck. Now Donovan. Knocked down from behind, back up to his skates, manages to maintain possession. Again from his knees. This time he gives it along for Weber. Weber goes for Cope. Cope dummies it along for Lefkoff. Lefkoff off the boards. Cope couldn't control it. Lefkoff kept it alive, and he'll get the whistle for the off. I would expect him to try and send this right on goal. He is tied up by Chase Lapworth. Good defensive play by New England center. Home white uniforms with the orange and gray trim. They'll go from left to right on your screens at home here in the second period. Thank you again, folks, for tuning on in. I'm Zach McGinnis, joined alongside Jack O'Mara. And, you know, in that first period, both teams had their opportunities. Coming up big was Patrick Gribben for the New England Knights. In the Zamboni corner, a pair of players make that five battling for the puck. It gets sent up the near side wall, unable to clear the puck were the Colonials. Now Weber chips one off the glass, gets as far as the neutral zone. In the neutral zone, Ryan Wojciechowski stepping up. And Jack, you know, I, I'm seeing a different game out of Ryan Wojciechowski. He's really gotten involved offensively, especially these last few weeks. Absolutely. I think that his game is, is growing as we see each week in, week out. He just is more comfortable with getting involved off offensively, and that takes a lot of, of courage and, and skill and you kind of have to get your bearings there. And I, I really think they're just missing those last second opportunities. Off the draw, it's controlled by the Colonials is Wojciechowski on a D to D pass, gets it down deep. Weber, he finds Palameke in front and Palameke sends one. Offensive zone has been very, very crisp and clean and they're finding the right people and they're getting the right shots on goal. Danbury controls off the offensive zone face off. It's Misha Mishar. Mishar goes back up at the point. Lefkoff easily on goal. Gribben diving on out. Gets it out of danger. Weber keeps it alive again. Palameke took out a knight from behind. That was Andrew Palmeter. Palmeter is still down on all fours. And the referee allows play to go on. Knights are able to clear. Palmeter, or check that. That's actually Cody Porcello who is limping his way back to the bench. Danbury is his lead. Let's see if they've got the hardware to yeah. get Willis back on the ice. Meanwhile, back down in the offensive zone, it's Connor Lefkoff off another faceoff victory by the Colonials. Lefkoff gives a long Copa shot. That one was just got enough of by Gribben. Now knocked off the stick of Lefkoff, and Max Burham will chase after it. Boy, Burham's got stamina for days. Seems like the puck just follows him around. 
Left call setting up on the far side. Leaves it for McEnany. Down low Donovan. Donovan's shot is blocked. Good stand-up block by the New England defenseman. But he's unable to clear his Pimentel. Now it's Weber picking up a nifty little pass. Giving back Cope. Cope a drive. Saved by Gribben. Donovan with it. Donovan in the corner, 40 seconds remains on the power play. Goes back to Cope. Cope swings it for McEnany. McEnany tries one too many passes. It's turned over, cleared all the way down by Butler. Yeah, the problem there was McEnany was just a little bit too deep to the net, couldn't get the shot away, had to just kind of go with the momentum of the puck, tried the behind the back spin pass, and there's, I'll give you what, uh, the Knights have done a very good job at clogging that interior lane around their goaltender. On, on the penalty kill, and, and they've done a really good job at eliminating second chance opportunities. And once that pass comes through, they're blocking shots and, and doing a good job at just making sure nothing comes of it. McEnany fans on a bouncing puck on the side of the net. Shot initially came from Brandon Cope. Penalty has expired, and we remain knotted at nothing apiece with over seven minutes gone by. Now a long pass up ahead. He connects. Shot saved by Fernandez. Good job. By Fernandez to make the save, it was Butler with the opportunity. And then New England, well, they were offsides, but no whistle on the play. Yeah, Butler's had a couple of opportunities in this game. Of course, he had the shorthanded breakaway, or the just after the shorthanded opportunity, he had a breakaway chance. Fernandez stuffed him, and here again, this time, not as much of a breakaway, but does get left to clogging the lane, getting a shot in, maybe a deflection up front, something like that, or just move the puck quick enough where you get the goaltender out of position. Here's Weber behind the cage. Puck on his backhand, gives to Lefkoff. Lefkoff, back for Cope. Cope, a bouncing shot, ends up wide. Now Lefkoff again. Lefkoff wants to give to McEnany, he does. Kyle McEnany, back for Lefkoff. Lefkoff shot, gets deflected wide again. Elma or check that, New England doing a good job of clogging up the slot. McEnany, Cope. Now McEnany again, his pass off the stick of Donovan. Left off a shot, that's blocked as well and cleared out of the zone. Yeah, how about that effort right there? What an absolute shot block by Pimentel. He just lays out, takes one for the team there in a good shooting lane for Lefkoff and that's exactly what you want your players to do on a penalty kill against a good shooting team is get in front of those shooting lanes. Well, New England's doing a great job of that. Three block shots already on this penalty kill. Here's McEnany across for left call. In front, deflected by Weber, but another great save by Patrick Gribben. See if he tries to send this on goal or try and, and win it back. He does win it forward, but it's quickly taken off of his stick by Pimentel. Two seconds and one. We are back to five aside hockey. As Danbury are looking for an icing call, they won't get it. So Connor left call. Settles his puck down behind the net of Alex Fernandez. Fernandez has only seen two shots so far this period. McEnany met at the red line by Kiervinen. Now Donovan from the blue line. That shot is blocked as well. Let's get the New England Knights some ice bags for the way they're getting in the way of these yeah. shots. Here is Sean Reed. Sent along, Cope sees the puck go over his stick and out of the zone. Picked up in the neutral zone. Knights two on one, now make it two on two. Is this shot off the stick of uh, Thomas Hayden is saved by Fernandez. Kiervinen on the third opportunity, finally gets it back down deep. Chasing after this is Thomas Hayden. But getting there first is Lugolinski. Lugolinski goes back up to the point. It's Pimentel, his shot goes over the net. Fernandez actually jumped in the air trying to grab it. Almost like a shortstop yeah. seeing one going off into left field. Loose puck ends up on the stick of Colby Donovan. He'll send one off the glass. Chasing after it is Brandon Cope, and Cope will negate the ice. Time forcing good shots. Then they started to get penalty happy, and being a man down is not going to help your grow your offensive game at all. It's leading scorer Nolan Murphy in the box for New England. As Danbury goes back to work on the power play, Donovan swings down low for Cope. Cope off the boards for McEnany. McEnany at the blue line. His shot deflected in front, and it just trickles wide. Yeah, Gribben didn't see it. McEnany couldn't hold the blue line. Gives back to Lefkoff. Pass was a bit outside, and so Lefkoff has to go back and retreat. Max Burham, no surprise, on the penalty kill, giving Lefkoff some trouble. But Lefkoff 
will leave it behind his own cage. Now Kyle McEnany fakes the pass one way, goes that way, gets it back from Lefkoff. McEnany at the red line. Dumping the puck down deep. McEnany got hit up high. He's injured on the play. Now making his way back up to his skates. Donovan, meanwhile, keeps it alive in the offensive zone before it's swiped off of his stick. And McEnany hunched over will go back to the bench. Yeah, he got a stick jarred right into the mix section. And that's why he took a tumble right away. That does not feel good. No, not exactly what the doctor ordered. Here's Lefkoff from the point. Shot is blocked. Up ahead with it now. Trying to get something going is Butler. Butler caught from behind. Boy, Butler and Burham Man. have been fantastic on the penalty kill. Both of them so active, and that's exactly what you want when you have a threat like Butler who could just turn on the other way, blocks a shot, and then just uses his speed. Eventually, Madzi and Lefkoff do enough to come back down together and make a stop, but that's one way to kill off some penalty time is to say, hey, let's take the puck back the other way and get a shorthanded opportunity. Well, this has been a better kill for the Knights as Dylan Weber gets back into the zone. Only 10 seconds left, and then Weber does New England a favor and clears it all the way out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. And again, the Knights do a really good job at just keep live. They have already four shots since we've seen the player come out of the box with the at the five-minute mark. Behind the play, Franklin Berry got into things with Jake Willis, no call coming. Puck still in Danbury's end, now it's out as Weber forces it ahead. Knocked off of his stick by Morrison. Here come the Knights the other way. To the outside, it's Lapworth. We have a side play to me, but either way, face off in the neutral zone with a, a buck 50 to go in the period. Sent all the way down the ice, this should be, no, waved off at the last moment. So Sean Reed in the corner. It's Cope taking the puck away. He found, Don, or check that Weber, but Weber couldn't control the backhand pass. Now McEnany, good to see him back out on the ice. Brandon Cope, Cope tries splitting the D, knocked off of his stick and then he loses it courtesy of Palmeter. Into the skates of Mazzy. Fernandez thought about coming out and then it's kicked on goal by Murphy. Fernandez makes the save. <laughs> That's kind of a strange play. Barry does a good job of getting the stick locked up and you just see the last ditch effort there by the Knights to try to just kick one in. Not going to count, but... Hey, you know what? Fernandez makes the save. If you get your stick free by then and you score on the rebound, right, it would count. Right. Here's Murphy dangerously leaving it for Paul Meter. Paul Meter sends it back down deep. Lapworth. Now Willis. Sent in front. Murphy sends one wide. Good job by Cole Madsey to tie up New England's leading scorer. Now it's Lapworth again. Lapworth a turnaround shot. That one's fought off by Fernandez. Yeah, just one step quicker right now are the Knights. Lapworth, his pass intended for Murphy, went through the blue paint. Now Willis, another pass in front, and Fernandez finds it underneath him. Point five to go on the clock to find a goal. That's a great way to go into the locker room knowing you have the lead. You get the momentum as Jake Willis records his 13th side. Jack O'Mara. Shots are 22-18 in favor of the Knights. And Jack, what is... Danbury have to do different in the third period here. I think you need to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have you have to get guys in your shooting lanes and when I mean guys I mean players in white and orange jerseys you need to get some deflections in front because Gribben has not been challenged in that regard you need to get some second chance opportunities backhand shot by Mastroni is saved now another shot by Mastroni goes over the top of the net as Patrick Gribben's busy doing snow angels in front Gribben has lost his stick as it skitters on out into the near side faceoff dot. Gribben still without a stick. New England unable to clear, looking for a hooking call. There's none coming. Now Mastroni behind the net. He's met by Burham. Westendorf thinking all hit. Manages to separate the New England player from the puck. Knight still looking to clear. This time it's Lefkoff keeping alive. Connor Lefkoff for Mastroni a shot. Save the rebound. And Lefkoff sends it off the side of the net. Skittered across this uh, you know, three-plus forward line unit. And I like it because it, it creates some unnervedness because a goal can come at any time. You can see a goal from four lines. And you see head coach Kevin Cunningham. He's trying to keep his shifts shorter yep. than they were. As this will be Weber. Coming out from behind his own cage. Pass goes behind the back of Mishar, and it's collected by Palmeter. Off the stick 
of Butler. And from the red line, left Koff will send it back down deep. Puck on its edge, rolls all the way around, nearly out of the zone. A little help by the Knights' defense gets it there. Sent back in on goal. Gribben will leave it along for Palmeter again. Turned over. Here's Mastroni. Mashara as well. Mashara's shot kicked aside by Gribben. And then getting upended on the play is Dylan Weber. Weber is hurt. He's trying to get back up to his skates. Play continues. Stepping in from the point was Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski again from the blue line. Now Weber back up on his skates. Tries deflecting that shot. Amazing how hockey oh. players always get a little bit healthier when the puck's around them. Oh. Weber hunched over will get back to the bench. Nate Mastroni offsides. There's a It'll be Dylan Weber on the draw, not missing a shift. Off the draw, it's one back for Madsy. Madsy's pass was behind the stick of Weber. Ferrucci in the near side corner turns it over. It's Brandon Cope. Cope sends one in front of the net, sticked aside. Now another shot from his knees was Remsen. That goes wide. I think it actually deflected off of Weber too. Everybody getting in the way. Into the glove of Gribben. Morning ice tomorrow. Oh. Off the draw, a clean win by Donovan. It's left off at the point. His shot saved by Gribben. He holds on to the re Mind you. And Donovan certainly has the hand die yeah. to deflect that puck where he wants it. Over eight minutes gone by. Another shot from the point. It's loose in front of the cage. Somehow Gribben makes the stop. Where is it? Everybody's digging at it. There's the whistle. The two on one to Lugalinci came across and Again, the defense was able to make a good stop there on the back end. Here's Weber going behind the net. First line of Weber, McEnany, and Donovan out on the ice for Danbury. Shot from the point, gets blocked. Once again, Pimentel getting in the way and flipped out of the zone. Madsy will chase after this. He has to be quick as on his back was Thomas Hayden. Now McEnany the other way. Kyle McEnany tries to split. The D takes the shot, saved by Gribben. No rebound. Green and... Yellow and the penalty kill. Danbury's got to find a way to score here if they want to make anything happen. Here's Lefkoff with a shot. Didn't miss by much. McEnany picks it up at the blue line. Gives along for Cope. Now Donovan sends one wide. Cope, a bad angle, goes behind the net. Lefkoff, McEnany manning the blue line. It's Donovan, Cope, and Weber up front for the orange and white. Cope reverses back Weber. New England a bit more aggressive on their penalty kill. Weber, a bit handcuffed, goes behind the net. Donovan leaves it for McEnany. McEnany now looking for a room. Cope, Lefkoff. Lefkoff a drive. Where is it? It's loose somewhere in the blue paint, and now it trickles wide. Again, the Knights able to just force it out wide. Cope, that shot is blocked. Donovan picks it up in his skates. He finds Lefkoff. Lefkoff on goal, deflected, saved by Gribben, and he holds on. Kyle Mack coming in to take the face off. Off the draw, it's McEnany. He sends one through the slot. Nobody was ready for it. Now Weber motoring behind the cage. McEnany from a sharp angle, saved by Gribben. Cleared but not out of the zone. Good job by Lefkoff holding the blue line. McEnany had some trouble corralling the pass from Cope. Lefkoff. One knee on the ice, keeps it alive. Now Copa shot saved by Gribben. It knocks a stick out of his hands. Another save by Patrick Gribben. Shades of flurry. Now Cope again. Gribben with a defenseman stick. McEnany. Sends over Lefkoff. Lefkoff winds and fires. He scores! Deflect. Dylan Weber going up against Max Burham. 50-50 draw goes back to uh, Rozhikowski who gets it down into the New England zone. 4.20 to go in regulation time as this gets sent all the way down the ice. Should be an icing call. There's the whistle. And the faceoff will come. Almost. In soccer, this is called time wasting. It often results in a yellow card, but the Knights get away with one. Well, they're not parking the bus yet. Nope. So <laughs> here's Nate Mistroni picking up the loose puck behind the cage. Centering pass is taken away by Jake Willis. Willis over the hat tricks rabbit at center ice into the zone. Chase Lappin, or Lapworth rather. Lost possession of the puck. Now Remsen. He'll send one off the glass. He finds Mastroni. Mastroni one on one with Reed. There in support is Weber. Dylan Weber in the corner. Canceled out by Reed. Mastroni there to help out. 
Under three to go in regulation. At the point now, Wojciechowski, D, D to D for Lefkoff. Lefkoff scores! Cut the wall, and this game was ripped kind of out of your hands. So off the draw, six skaters on the ice for the New England Knights. Five players battling for the puck in the far corner. It comes out, not out of the zone. Good job by Delugalinski to hold the line. Sharp angle attempt goes through the blue paint. Now Murphy from the point, a bouncing Oof. puck ends up in the...